Hello, goddess, and welcome to this week's Thankful to Thrive Thursday. If you are new to my channel, my name is Rochelle Richard, and we here at Empowerment Experiences are looking for and finding our power all along this, which is each our own twin flame journey, self-love empowerment journey. A twin flame journey is a self-love empowerment journey. And uh, we are definitely hanging out around here, healing twin flames, inner child healing, healing our wounds, our traumas, shifting our, our stories, and uh, so grateful that we can create the lives that we desire, right? That we can change things that are not working for us, and we can actually be and therefore do different. And that's the only way that really we really create lasting change is that we actually shift into, we step into this new version of self. We we are conscious, we are very then very aware of our presence, how we're showing up. Are you intentional? Are you, as Abraham Hicks says, segment intending? That just popped into my head. Meaning, are you are you present in every moment? Are you living every moment on purpose with intention and, and really actively creating your experience rather than just letting it create itself from your own patterns and habits that really probably are not creating <laughs> the life and the outcome <laughs> that you desire. I know mine certainly weren't. <laughs> But that's that's why we do this this deeper dive and that that's really what we're focusing on this week goddess is more of that deeper diving and, and you know what you can you can bet that there's definitely going to be more of that we don't just dive one day and boom, boom we're good it's 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 like scuba diving literally right like the deeper you dive the longer it takes to readapt to your environment when you come when you go to come back to the surface so to speak so when when you surface from all of that work it's 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 a journey god it's it's, it's a, we have journeys within our journey right we have journeys within journeys within our whole journey right so many layers that is this experience and again so so thankful that we can consciously when we awaken to this, right? When we, when we wake up to the understanding that we do have the power to change our lives, to change ourselves in the sense of no longer beating ourselves up, no longer holding ourselves to standards of, of, of judgments against others that really just keep you playing small. It's time again for that deeper dive to <laughs> uncover and discover more parts of your light that have been tarnished and to polish them and bring them forth into this world. Right? That is the purpose of this of the deeper dive. That is the reason why, again, why someone like me had to had to pull back, had to just just allow myself to take that break. And now, oh my goodness, I feel more and more with each passing day like a new woman. It's it's easier and easier for me to be in my element and create the stuff for you and feel aligned and embodied and intentioned when I do, right? And I am so, so grateful for you, goddess, because without you truly, who would I create this for? I mean, yes, of course, I would still play and create for myself. However, what would kind of be the purpose of uploading it to a public platform, right? I share this intentionally with you. So be sure that you drop a comment. Let me know you stop by and like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel, all those wonderful things. 
because again there's more coming there's going to be more consistency more clarity for those who are again looking for that twin flame empowerment of breaking free of the twin flame trap where you're just perpetuating your own self-sabotage and suffering and and you're so done you're so done once and for all with these cycles right you are truly ready to to transcend and ascend all the bullshit done right so grateful that we each can choose to reclaim our power for ourselves again just oh just the mm, just the energy where we are and with that with that let's just let's dive in oh my goodness let's just dive in I am really excited to be again in this new found this energetic space that is is so much of the old only better <laughs> right because there's there's so much of the other old that's that's gone that that's been released that's been shifted transmuted purged right as a result of the sanctuary this is why this is why right now goddess you are being called in this in into this the sanctuary space this deeper dive this this getting it all out oh let me tell you sister i have purged and journaled and even for my um my new vision for what's to come in my coaching um my tummy is gonna crowl i can tell i'm like oh well, well I, I just i'm hungry all of a sudden right i'm hungry for for the vision right right i'm hungry for for what i'm creating and this is going to come for you too once you have purged all of these things even if it's it's an idea or many ideas that you've had you know map it out get it out on paper all the all the fears and doubts and everything else as well again deep dive and that just simply means to get detailed to allow for the things the words to keep flowing and pouring from you onto the paper and to create space for more and more to flow through and when you are busying yourself with everybody else's bullshit and drama and all of their things and you have this priority this responsibility to yourself you have to start really asking yourself goddess are the choices that i am making aligning me with the outcome that i desire and if they are not then you need to start making different choices so first and foremost one of those choices is to be again making this time for this deeper dive really journaling it out spending time in quiet meditation solitude it's okay to say to people that i don't currently have the capacity to be there for you anymore i i i, I gave and gave and i have given so much to so many i overgave at a serious detriment to myself and it's not that i do not love you by all means i do it is that now i really am owning my worth my value and my choices that i've made based on the results that i've gotten and i'm now making different choices choices that are most aligned for me and what i am here to create in my world right but in order to really see how much you sacrifice and you give and you overgive to others you've got to you've got to pull back right you have to again take that deeper dive allow yourself to receive this this clarity this this liberation this this release right because it is a receiving when you when you let it flow you're receiving that energy those new ideas the 
the new sensations and new experiences and opportunities and growth. And with all of that comes this goodness, this abundance, this wealth, this joy, this happiness, all these amazing things. But we have to pivot and yes, align ourselves with what we desire. And that again means to start asking yourself. And here's one of my first major tipping or coaching tips for this is start asking yourself every single time you are about to make a decision. Will this or does this decision, this action, this experience, does it align me with my vision or does it distract me from my vision? And especially if it is something that has the potential to eat up a chunk of your time as well as therefore your energy. So you've really got to reach that point of allowing yourself to receive what you've been so readily giving to so many others. That which leads so many of us to have ailments and illnesses. Again, my kidney stones earlier this year. Wow, I've never had two in three weeks time, let alone three in two years time. Mind boggling. But I look at again, what energy I was expend, expelling. I was, I was, I was spending far more than what I was filling into my own tank, right? So in order to align yourself with receiving that abundance and that goodness, you have to be again, pivoting to align, to focus toward, to make decisions that and take actions that move you directly toward what you desire, but to also again, release, you know, all that which has been, as we mentioned already this week, clogging the pipes. So there's so much clarity underneath there, goddess, I assure you, there's so much abundance, so much flow. Oh, well, with this, with this clarity and, and this clearing, right, of, of all that is really not you and all that's been weighing you down and all that's been taking up space in your life that is, again, pulling you away from what you're being called to create, you have to make the choice, goddess. Well, what's going to happen is when you make the choices for you to align with what you desire, that's when, when these partnerships start to appear. That's when the support starts to come in. That's when someone shows up and says, Hey, I've been looking for what you do. And I have this idea, this vision. And that's, that's exactly what transpired along my own journey these past couple months of this deeper, deeper diving and this really purging it out, mapping it out, clarifying so, so, so much that from that has come these collaborative opportunities that really, again, expand that, that abundance and wealth. But that's what this growth is all about, goddess. That is what this healing journey of growth is about. And we can be so grateful for that on, again, this Thankful to Thrive Thursday, being reminded that yes, yes, gratitude is so important. And I, I, I admit, goddess, it's, it's challenging to be grateful when, when shit hurts. 
there's 1444 just there on the little ticker. It can be challenging when you're really in the depths of of despair, shall we say, right? When you're really in that <laughs> deep, excruciating place. But you've come through all of that and it's time to look trust in yourself 1444 trust in yourself you're you're strengthening spirituality and self-worth right now because you're going to be able to look back at this success that you've had and thereby celebrate just like we had last time celebration right celebrate your success as though it already is you are aligning with this by embodying it, by allowing yourself to feel the success of all that you have already achieved and accomplished and healed so far. Celebrate that. Follow your passion because yes, that, that prosperity awaits. Again, when you clear out of the shit, you make way for all of this bright, clear, crystal clear, beautiful water, beautiful abundance, beautiful, just this beauty to flow into and through your experience here. Allow yourself to be in the energy of your passion and dreams. Life changes, open life to new opportunities. And that's, that's so, that's so where, where it's been, hasn't it? So where it's been, goddess. This deeper dive is guaranteed, it's guaranteed to facilitate this growth and bring about so many new opportunities. But you, 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 you gotta, you gotta get out of your way, right? That, that's what this, that's what all of this is about. Because now you're, you're laying it all out so you see it. That's the, that's another one of the powerful purposes of journaling is that you then see it. It's not just rambling around in your mind but when you put that shit on paper and you have to see for yourself some of the nasty things you might think or some of the the discouraging things you might think or feel um, whatever it is and even even the amazing things you feel the 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 sure and confident things you feel write those down so you can then take those and put them up around you utilize all these simple tools that are just all around you, right? Because we are creating heaven on earth. It is happening as we speak. And, and we, again, we achieve this by being, being, being in the moment, being in that feeling space of presence oh, it's happening goddess it's happening <laughs> wow see. I, I literally I, I just knew I knew I was like as I started to shuffle that I'm like no no we need to um, we are so ready let's let's uh so, so in all of this, I got us power of surrender. Oh, that one just, that gave me some chills. That gave me some chills. I feel chills. I got, oh, it's, I got chills. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Johnny boy. I got chills. They're multiplying. And I'm loose in control. Cause the power you're supplying. It's electrifying. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, oh, do you feel that? Like, really? Oh, that, that's this week. Like, it's just again that, oh, that good, that good, good. Like, mm, like, mm, I'm like, ugh. putting this out like a lighthouse, you know, like a beacon. <sighs> because there are goddesses out there. And again, I would love, let me know you stop by. Let me know what resonates for you in this video. I would love, I would love to hear because this, oh my goodness, this is, this just feels so good. This just feels so good. I know, I know it is for us oof, to 
share, to share in this, this growth, this expansion experience that we're all having as this unfolds, as I record this video, and then as you are listening to this video, again, the presence, the grounding into the moment, right? In order to do so, surrender the drama, the drama, the drama is we're up in our heads, right? It's, it's, oh my goodness, it's, oh, it's intense, it's heavy. Oh, so heavy. Oh, you feel it. God is, that shit's heavy. So stop. Just stop. For real. Put that shit down. Just say no. Oh, we got another one. We got a Miss Mary J. Blige. No more drama. No more drama. You can choose that, goddess. You choose that. Instead, get some rest. Sleep. Restore yourself. Again, the sanctuary. Right? Focus on finally, really, truly getting your shit together. Okay? Other people have their their shit to to to, to carry. That we all have our own loads, and it's again when you can start to really develop for yourself the boundaries that empower you to feel as though you're actually truly giving of yourself. Which again, why that whole break had to happen for me. Why. Why now it's like I'm back and even my breaths are deeper, more embodied. And that's because I took that rest and sleep. Now, as I'm getting back in it, it's there. There are some hiccups here and there. It's like, oh, 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 falling back. And no, checking that pattern because it doesn't change overnight. It's a practice. We have to practice these shifts. We have to practice embodying who we are. And that means it's exhausting. So stop. Stop, stop, just like, just like on Tuesday. That's why this is coming up again. Gotta stop trying to fix everyone else's shit. Stop, not my circus, not my monkeys. Again, a, a, a question, oh, and there was 2222. Oh my goodness, it was about to go dim. 2222, I tapped it. A question for, for us is, is something akin to to yeah the one about is this aligning with with the outcome i desire but it's more so by my taking this energy diverting this energy and this time and, and my my resources to this individual or to that circumstance whatever it is is it going to pre produce an outcome that with or without me would still be the outcome there's there's this it's 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 a challenge for me right now to to really translate what seems to be coming in on that. But again, to really just be more, more present, more aware, more conscious of why you are going to offer up your valuable resources needed for what you are being called and guided to create again it's it's that healthy selfish and 22 22 we had look feel, look feel calm wow feel calm you are doing exactly what you are supposed to for your expansion that's this focusing on your growth that deeper dive right which will which you will come back around to be able to give more but your cup has been empty for for a long fucking time and it's 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 you stop yeah really now i'm here boy we got a soundtrack today now i got is it the shirelles stop 
in the name of love right seriously for real just take a breath take a pause feel calm mantra say to yourself i am where i am and i am exactly where i am supposed to be let's say that again i am where i am and i am exactly where i am supposed to be you are on the correct path right you are on your path and it's a more refined and clarified path when you take the time to refine and clarify it again that is the theme for this week filling your cup and playtime is definitely a part of that i've been oh uh, yes so far i can tell there's a, a a big i'm starting to notice that the poetic expressions that i'm recording into little musical audios oh and making into to video clips for youtube shorts and uh, instagram reels and i am also uploading them to my healing twin flames tiktok that you all here on youtube are enjoying those and i appreciate that i appreciate you i'm so grateful for that i that's that's part of play for me right play doesn't have to mean a physical activity every time but play is really just allowing yourself to have fun be creative and i am a poet and i know it i have loved loved writing poetry my whole life obviously that's why i have been divinely guided to create and convey uh, uh, facets or aspects or overviews or summarizations of these goddess rising empowerment experiences for both the divine feminine energies and divine masculine energies uh, for for months now the, the poetic expressions and I'm super excited with with the creative oh, plans that I have coming for all of those in, down the line again this all comes when you dive deep and you clear out the shit and create space for new things to grow in that place oh it's just good times good times guys good times well, i'm cheesing right now i'm cheesing let's see what we have for our crystal mandala activation cards i love these as i love affirmations <laughs> love affirmations affirmations are truly one of the most underrated uh power tools in our uh, transformation toolkits right especially as a collective that uh, you are an operating system you've been programmed um oh, and so much you know on, on on a grand scale of shall we say propagandized right but that's 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 programming so it's it's really important though to recognize that we have the power to reprogram ourselves right to to so that we are running an operating operating system within us that aligns us subconsciously to habitually make different choices in our lives than what we have so we can consistently create different results as well. I recommend what I'm feeling right now to say, check out Dr. Joe Dispenza. He's one of my faves, one of my faves. Neuro, neuroscientist, just, wow. I mean, I, yeah, there's so much. Oh, with that, let's just see what we have for our crystal mandala. And see, these cards don't tend to, well, holy moly, I'm going to now close my eyes and from this pile, I'm going to choose one card. Boom. Oh, it's the, the world. Ooh. And it's upside down. <gasps> the power of goodwill. Oh my goodness. And again, we are talking about the overgiving, meaning 
having a subconscious pattern where you tend to give so much that it's at a detriment to yourself that you end up in burnout and then you really have nothing to give to anybody because you're busy scrambling and scrounging for pieces to give to yourself, right? And so this in turn leaves you lacking in being truly available for others at that point because you you were not making yourself available to you. So I activate the spiritual power that benefits and protects all beings through mutual enhancement, the power of goodwill, generosity, and grace. I plug into the golden energy grids of grace that rise from the earth and provide all that is needed for every being to manifest its destiny. I put my faith in the potency of encouragement. I hold an empowered vision for myself and all beings. <sighs> Further amplification and, uh, and encompassment and verification, validation even, that this, this deeper dive, this greater clarity, this um, clearing out of what has been just, just clogging the pipes and taking up space in your world and diverting your flow, right? It's blocking your flow. It's diverting your flow. This is why your flow is fucked up because you you haven't been tending to the pipes right like we've been talking this week oh just good shit just good shit this week I mean, that's how I'm feeling again goddess I would just I would love to hear how you're feeling about all this especially as we oh well hello there let's um apparently this card has something to say as we were just about to bring up the again that the mirroring energies of the divine masculine what what is what are the divine masculine energies going to reveal for us in terms of where our power is oh, even broader still even more encompassing with especially the masculine energies within ourselves right because the feminine we're right we're we're working on grounding in the, into the present moment and nurturing ourselves, really loving ourselves. Masculine, we're finding our courage. We're, we're actively doing something, right? We're finding our courage to make the changes that we are needing to make to start to make different decisions, give different answers, uh, allow yourself different solutions and choices so that you allow for yourself the receiving of the results that you desire. He's the divine masculine's working on this too. You can be sure of that. That's that's the energies being mirrored for for us at this time. We must find our brave we must find our brave in order to reclaim our power and step into again this this true you that you are, are continuously being encouraged to do to be but genuinely not not a rebellious not a a spiteful but simply, this is me. I'm calm. I own this. I feel this. I love this because I love me. Well, there it is. Finding the power. <laughs> Finding the courage to find your power. Is that not what I was saying? Oh my goodness. That's like I said. When it's just vibing and good energy and aligned. Oh my goodness, like I have to share really quick the like the my my favorite car. My favorite car the other morning. It's like my car totem. So I, I teach goddesses this in, in especially my group program that I will be resuming uh in in, in restru re, re reformulated, re 
uh, so much more power packed than that puppy. But with that, I, I love to uh, teach about how you decipher and translate your own language with the universe, right? So my car totem, which is my dream car, which I call a Millennium Thunderbird, right there. They were only made over a five-year period. They're all the exact same body style. The difference was they were different colors for each year, right? And oh, they're rare, right? They're obviously no longer in production. They were, again, Millennium Thunderbirds. They were made at the turn of the century. And, and my very first car was a 1987 silver bullet T-Bird Turbo Coupe. Oh, 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 good times in that puppy. But the other morning I was out, I was running errands and I was singing my own little version, which I've got to finish that to Callaway's I Wanna Be Rich, but it's a whole different version. And oh my goodness, I was feeling it. I was vibing. I was all of that good energy flowing through, flowing through, flowing through, receiving, receiving, and just oh my goodness and and amplifying and just ah oh, belting it out right just singing at the top of my lungs and feeling so amazing and then all of a sudden bam on the in the incoming lane the most because it's a very unique front end this car very unique front end boom there it was boom there it was oh my goodness Oh my goodness, I was bouncing up and down on my seat. I, I was, oh, oh, I was squealing and, and zealing. It was, oh, it was, it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. And you, you got to milk that, goddess. When that happens, you got to milk that. That's you and your power, your power being, your ability to, to really, truly harness your energy and, and emit your own controlled point of attraction that you are creating your transmission you are creating what your frequency is and you're allowing yourself to be in a frequency that feels good that's your power guys that's your power find your courage find your power find your courage to claim your power to allow yourself to feel good Right? And you've got to do that. You, I mean, you've got to do that through such ways of, of, again, these boundaries and choosing to say, no, I don't have time for the drama. I, I actually, I have, I have things I've got to take care of and huh, I, I come first, you know, if that, and that's how you've got to be. Oh, finding your power. Boom. Boom. Well, oh, wow. And here we have mm, more generosity, right? So learning to, again, be, be generous in, in a way that you do not drain yourself such that you end up in states of resentment and, and exhaustion and with, with again, health, health challenges, right? This is why we end up with dis- dis-ease is because we are out of alignment we are out of ease with our experience so again when you are over giving to others and under giving to yourself well that's that's a serious that's a serious um miscalculation or a serious imbalance in in energy flow so that's that's what this whole enlightenment is about is is at this time is you are being enlightened to these channels these avenues that that you may have been hemorrhaging energy you have been you are being you have been and continue to be enlightened by uh the circumstances situations relationships any and everything that has potentially been something that's distracted you from this deeper work for yourself and really truly unifying with your own inner power to be creating intentionally the life you desire it is practiced it is once you are are capable of really truly being able to maintain that control over yourself such that you you, you got your shit you know um under control in the sense of you are fully capable and empowered to manage and maintain your energetic point of attraction that no matter what does happen outside of you it's no longer 
drama to you. It's simply the worldly experience. It's simply someone else's experience. However, when you are of course yourself going through your own experiences, your own heavy deep dive (laughs) excavation yourself, you're going to have to rein it in. You're going to have to tighten the the purse straps a bit, so to speak, uh, with your, with your energetic self, with your time, with, with all that is necessary for you to re gain your own center of balance to to replenish your own empty buckets your own empty reservoirs right and then when your buckets are filled then then you can truly be generous because you're not giving what you don't have to give (sighs) that felt so good that just feels all wrapped up. We had angel numbers 1444 and 2222. That's that's where we're gonna where we're gonna just wrap it up for today. And I'll be excited to follow up with Twin Flame Tuesday. Keep going. Be sure you're on my email list. Which how do you get on that? Uh, through signing up for the Twin Flame Empowerment and Confirmation Checklist. There is more, I'm sure, coming to update that. But it does come along with a 17-day self-love empowerment challenge that comes over approximately 20 days of emails that are jam-packed with uh, powerful coaching tips and guidance and, and ways for you to, again, reclaim your power on this twin flame self-love empowerment journey not not only do you receive notifications of course of videos being published but there's more coaching stuff coming there's of course offers that i do have exciting things Um, i say that i I, i'm just everything i'm excited right now there's a lot of stuff going on so exciting is my word of choice right now for real but one of those things is you actually get a free i'm calling it an a free email anniversary uh blockage breakthrough uh um clarity challenge coaching emailed experience every year on your email anniversary so from the day on the day that you sign up every year after that on your anniversary you get so on your one year anniversary you get your first one right so on that one year anniversary you'll get notified that hey you have a free blockage breakthrough i'm so excited you're still on my list i appreciate you and to show you that i appreciate you i have a genuinely free gift it's a a small gift that i can give to you when I know that there's so much more that I can support you in. So much more, so much more. And the blockage breakthrough is really truly just a tip of the iceberg for you to break through whatever blockage you're experiencing. Now I do offer those year round, of course. There, you can also check out a couple other coaching, uh, challenge clarity coaching experiences, right? Emailed experiences on my website at empowermentexperiences.com. I will put that link down in the, in the description. And with that, as I am, as I'm so grateful that I am back to be, be doing so, um, as I, I'm here to offer that reminder for you, that support, that guidance, that remembrance, for you to know that the power it is in your hands goddess because that power has always been inside you namaste